today there are signs that it may rain. The forecast says that it will rain. Um, a light rain, not a heavy rain, not showers that I was hoping for. And this, this day, this year is forecasted to be very dry and hot. Um, despite the recent cold weathers and when it says that it's going to rain, it ends up being um, just light drizzles or stuff like that. Not quite really rain. And so the, I wanted to make a really important point in that when, if you have property and instead of looking at... Uh, the piece of property is I mean you anyone can enjoy nice green lawn and that's maintenance maintenance free and they just have a gardener that comes and mows the lawn and trims some hedges and and that's it and you get to sit there and that's fine every to each their own um, but also this is an alternative type of living um, living a permaculture lifestyle and the key thing about this that I really love is that you are the creator. You're the mastermind behind it. You're the person that can decide where each and, it, it, each and every individual tree, fruit tree goes. Excuse me, the planes are flying overhead. And you can decide where you want your herbs, your potager garden, what kind of fruit trees that your favorite fruit trees and what where you want to plant them and if you want to bring in mulch how to design and decorate your garden how to have lots of food and rely less on going to grocery stores and dealing with all kinds of stress and negative things and even if you don't mind that which is fine when they're conveniently located but if they aren't conveniently located such as in the case of food deserts grow your own find any piece of space whether it be a parkway whether it be plant planting in container gardens um, next to your garage on the side of your house um, just do whatever you can to have to use your little piece of land or your little area and um, continue to make lots of good soil if you can make good soil or grow lots of nice herbs if you love culinary um, things you like to try out things grow lots of flowers to bring in bees and butterflies and lace wings and other kind of beneficials, uh, ladybugs, um, beauty from the blooms. Or in my case, I want it to be a jungle and I'm, uh, lots of people don't like that. They think it's high maintenance and it really isn't because what I do is I haul in lots of mulch and I keep covering or pulling out weeds and I just keep feeding my plants directly and giving them the most that I can give them so that they have the best chance of living and producing for me. And so as I look upon my whole entire space, I realize that I'm really, really content because um, everything is ever changing not some things are permanent where I decided to put some of my fruit trees and the reasons why I place them there and other other things are temporary and other things can break down and won't be an issue and in the meantime even though it doesn't look great it serves its purpose of as a weed barrier um, so I love that I am the designer of my own beautiful lush garden.
and that it's going to feed me and feed my whole family for more than one lifetime. So thank you for watching and Hello, so today I'm washing uh, some broccoli greens and broccoli. So harvested from my backyard. They've gotten really um, big. That's one. There's a couple of them just ones down here. So get them before they get too old and, and bolt to, to seed. So I'm going to wash them and stir fry it with some meat today and have that over rice and some garlic and stuff. There's some green onions from the backyard. Here is some broccoli from the backyard. Getting it before.